I have my team with me. I have my finance minister, my commerce minister, Mr. Razak Daud, foreign minister, uh, minister for planning, and minister for overseas Pakistanis. And the reason I brought my team is because we feel, and as both of you mentioned, uh, that um, it's time that Pakistan and Turkey enhanced our trade to a higher level. We, are, we have our problems. We have, for some reason, not achieved the potential of trade between the two countries that we should have. And one of the reasons, obviously, is that the distance between to uh, take goods from Turkey to Pakistan through sea is a, is a long, long way, and uh, there's still no proper train connection between the two countries. So um, this issue, I think, in coming years will be sorted out because of uh, a huge development taking place in Pakistan which is the BRT, the, the Chinese uh, Belt and Road Initiative, which is connecting uh, those parts of the world which were, were not connected before. So that's just one thing that will, uh, in future, if we start working from now onwards, uh, the trade between the two countries will increase. <clears throat> the, the second thing is that Pakistan is a virgin territory. Pakistan is uh, still virgin in the sense that a lot of areas of trade where Pakistan has huge potential have not, have not really started performing. For instance, Pakistan has huge mineral reserves, but we have uh, hardly done exploration even in 5% of the areas where, we are, where there's oil, there's gas, there's copper, there's cobalt, there's coal. Uh, and these areas have hardly been any exploration has been done. But much more importantly, Pakistan has a population of 210 million people. It's one of the youngest population in the world. It has uh, 100 and 20 million Pakistanis below the age of 35, which means it has tremendous amount of potential. And secondly is Pakistan's strategic position. It is connected to two of the world's biggest markets, China and India. And uh, hence, Pakistan is on the verge we are, we are fixing our governance system. What we are trying to do is make it easier for businesses to work. The ease of doing business and cost of doing business, as we speak, we are trying to bring them down. So for businesses from Turkey, we will make it much easier. Already you mentioned that various uh, uh, investors here I've met are already uh, uh, working in Pakistan, but I'm, I want to assure you that this government, its main aim is going to be to easy, to make it easy for investors, cut out the red tape, make it easier, make, allow people to make money, make profits, and uh, create wealth in the country. When you have trade, when you have investment, wealth is created. We desperately need, uh, we have a young population which needs employment. So investment will lead to employment for us and uh, create wealth. Pakistan is embarking on the next five years of building five million houses, affordable houses. It's a huge project. So your construction companies are welcome. We have, uh, as I said, my team is here to answer questions. That's a huge initiative taken by Pakistan. Then we have, uh, along with China, we are developing special economic zones along the uh, 
along the um, BRT, the Belt and Road Initiative. And so again, it is a great opportunity for businesses from here to come and invest. Uh, but above all, uh, we, would, we have uh, what probably is one of the most diverse country in the world in terms of uh, tourism. We have, I don't know whether most of you realize, out of the 12 or 13 highest peaks in the world, half of them are in Pakistan. Pakistan not only has uh, an totally untapped mountain, uh, uh, mountain scenery trekking, uh, uh, an area open for new resorts, but also Pakistan has the, also the most diverse religious tourism. It's the center of Buddhist civilization. It is the center for Sikh uh, religious tourism for Hindus. And it also has the oldest, uh, well, I can't say this here because Turkey already, we know this area is probably the oldest civilization in the world. But in, um, in Pakistan, we have the Indus Valley civilization, which is 5,000 year, years old. And of course, it's a very historical part of the world. And for Tur Turkey, people from Turkey, you must remember that the Turks were part of the ruling elite of the Indian subcontinent for almost six centuries. The Mughal Empire were, were Turkish origin. Before that, the, the Sultanate in Delhi for 300 years, it was basically, uh, uh, it alternated between the Turks and the Afghans. So it has this huge history. And let me not uh, forget that when, Tur when Turkey was finding its, uh, uh, fighting for its independence, when the Greeks had invaded uh, the mainland, uh, people, what, what is now in Pakistan, then it was India, but from what is Pakistan, people were collecting money to support the Turkish movement for independence uh, under Kam Kamala Tatar. <laughs> So I look forward to your questions. I have my team here. Uh, you can ask questions. Uh, uh, they are all. They can answer more specifically questions about various areas about trade, about the measures which we've uh, taken to open up our economy. So I look forward to your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a great honor for us to. It's a very.